Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make responsive designs in Figma the proper way using auto layout. And if you have any designs that you already created, I'm going to show you how easy it is to convert those into tablet and mobile just by structuring your elements using auto layout. So as you can see for this tutorial I prepared this file. If you want to follow along make sure to check uxlab.academy. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. That's the place where you can download the file and you can do the tutorial with me as I'm doing it. Now, for this file, as you can see, I did not do anything in particular. I just created the design. All the elements are separate. The only thing that I grouped are these cards, but in a minute I'm going to show you why you should never use groups and instead use frames so that these cards can become responsive. So now let's say that this design was approved by your client and now he wants you to create the tablet and the mobile version for it. Normally, if you were to just start out in Figma and if this is how your layers panel looks like, then most likely when someone tells you to convert this to tablet, what you will do is you'll go here, you'll create another frame for tablet, you're just gonna add it here next to your desktop and then I presume that this is what I was doing when I first started out is like I would just drop these elements here and I would just try to figure out how to place them and recreate the kind of like the tablet view for my design which takes ages if you think about it so now instead of doing this there's an easier method thanks to auto layout in Figma and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to convert any of your designs into tablet and mobile so let me delete this because we don't need this anymore and let's start adding auto layout to our design. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these items over here and by using this fancy shortcut, which actually one of my subscribers told me about it because I did not know anything about it. I was like literally just going here and clicking on, clicking on auto layout. Now you can actually click shift A, which is an amazing shortcut. Thank you for letting me know. This is really cool. So you click shift A, as a shortcut and then you add auto layout to your elements here just change this to you can leave it to 48 if you want or you can change it to 32 or something else but let's leave it as it is because we're not interested now in fiddling around with the design so you just add an auto layout here to your elements then you can rename this to menu so you know what it is and then you select all these three elements and you add another auto layout using uh, shift a and here, as you can see, I can just rename this to menu wrapper. And then instead of having here a set value, I can just set it to auto. That means that the values between this, like the distance between my menu and the logo and uh, this button over here, this will be set to auto, so automatically adjust. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this menu inside and I'm gonna set this to fill container and I'm gonna put it to the center because the logo will not stretch anyway and the button, same thing, it will not stretch. And I can say like, okay, so now we have this fully responsive. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing for the rest of our elements. We're gonna grab this title and this text underneath here, shift A, we're gonna add auto layout, we're gonna change, leave this to eight, it's completely fine. But what I'm gonna do is every single time uh, Figma creates uh, auto layout, I don't know why, but the elements inside are always set to either hug or fixed. So what I like doing is I like to set these up either to uh, fill or just leave them to hug depending depending on what I do, but it's just a thing that I wanted to point out, just in case sometimes you create an auto layout and it doesn't work as expected, just make sure that the elements inside are set to the correct values. So now we have the title over here, which we have uh, added auto layout to, and then we're gonna go to cards. Now to cards, the same thing. I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ungroup this because we don't need to have a group. And I'm gonna start adding auto layouts uh, on to create these cards. So the first ones that I'm gonna, like the first one of auto layout that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it here on my text and my title for the card. So again, shift A, add the auto layout. I can set this to 16 just so I know the values. And here I'm gonna rename this to text so I know what it is. Then I'm gonna group, I'm gonna grab this text and this button, and I'm gonna add another another auto layout, and I'm gonna set this to 24, which is good. 
and here just so I know what it is I'm gonna add text plus button this is how I usually uh, like to rename my uh, frames this is a lot easier for me to understand what those frames are actually you know like uh, grouping and the next I'm gonna add I'm, I'm gonna group I'm gonna select this text plus button I'm gonna select the image on top add another auto layout and this I'm gonna call card so this is how you should properly structure a card in Figma. And now, if you look at it, it's not responsive. And you're gonna be like, why did I go to all that, all that trouble if it's not responsive? And that's because what I told you previously is these elements inside, for some reason, Figma either sets them to fixed or other values. So all you need to do is just set this to fill container. Same for the text. Just make sure that all of these are set to fill. Even if it's mixed, just put it to fix, uh, to fill. And now, if you take this card, let me just, okay, so this was on hog fill. Again, just make sure, so this is a good way of testing it. Just test out and see what elements are not responsive and then go and change the values for them. And now, as you can see, this card is, uh, let me just toggle this off is fully responsive. Now, what I'm gonna do, instead of actually copying and pasting this card over and over again, if I can just toggle this on, I'm gonna delete these cards over here because I don't need them anymore. I'm just gonna copy and paste it using, uh, like holding down option on my keyboard and just dragging the element. I'm gonna adjust it to my, uh, to my grid and then Guess what? I'm gonna add another auto layout. So I'm gonna add another another auto layout here. Command A. I'm gonna group these two. Make sure that this is at 16 because this is the gap of my grid. And then I'm gonna copy this once more. And there you have it. Now I have a row with all the cards. Again, same thing. It doesn't work because these elements inside are now set to fixed because I created the frame outside. Again, not sure why Figma does that. Just we will go around it for now. So just make sure that these are set to fill container and that's it. Now you have a perfect row that it's responsive. If you want to add another one, simply copy and paste this one. You're gonna, again, group these two using auto layout. Make sure that the distance is, I don't know, whatever you want, 32, let's say. Make sure that they're again set to fill container because these ones are now set to hug. And now you see that we have two rows and with six cards that are fully responsive. And basically this is it. If you design this way, then this will help you create those responsive designs in literally seconds. And let me show you how easy it is from this point to create the tablet and the mobile version. So we have this done properly using auto layout. So let me just toggle this, toggle this off. Now, what I can do and what everyone should do is you should add an auto layout on your entire frame. But first, let me just adjust this text here because what I want to do is I want to have some gaps between these elements. And the way I'm doing it is I'm adjusting the auto layout for this particular element. So let me show you how. So for this one, for example, I can see that it's 51 pixels on the bottom and around 120 from the top. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here and here I'm gonna set this to, let's say 80, cause I don't need, cause I'm gonna add some uh, padding here on the top as well. So I put 80 there and 51 here because on the cars I'm not gonna, or 50, let's say, round it up, because on the cars I'm not gonna add any padding. On the menu, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So roughly 24 on the sides. So I'm gonna add here around 24 pixels and 24 pixels on the bottom. Now, if I go and I create an auto layout, these elements will stay at the same distance. So this is what I personally like doing and this is how I do, I create my designs because it's a lot faster for me to convert them. So I will just select this, I will add an auto layout to the entire thing, make sure that it's on center. And here again, you see Figma does this crazy thing when everything is on fixed, just make sure that it's on hug content. Now this page is fully responsive. So all I need to do is to make sure that the margins here on this auto, 
on this outer layout correspond, correspond to my grid. So that means that if I toggle my grid, this is 64 pixels, this is set to 63. So all I need to do is change this value to 64 and that's it. So here is where the magic happens. Once you do this, just toggle this off if you want. Just co copy the entire thing. And if a client says like, oh, I would like this on tablet, this is all I need to do. Again, same thing, make sure that these are set to fill container. That's why it's not working. But that's all I need to do now. It's like literally in seconds, I can just set this to 744, I believe. That's kind of like the correct one for the tablet. Now, if the margins are too big here, I just go here, I change this to 32, for example. This, I can set it to fill container. If these cars don't work properly, what I will do, I will just delete one and now I have two rows, two cards per row, and now it looks like uh, it was uh, adapted to to tablet. I can ch change this to tablet. If these don't work, all you need to do is just delete this. And here, instead of this button, I can add an icon. So I'm just gonna grab this one from my design system. I'm just gonna copy this quickly, add it here, delete this, and now I have a mobile menu. I'm just gonna drag this again, change this to mobile, adjust this to 375, because that's the width of the mobile. Usually on mobile, I like keeping my margins quite low, so I usually go for 16 pixels, just so I have enough room to uh, put all my elements in. Again, same thing as I did before. I'm just gonna delete one card. It's gonna work properly and perfectly. Then on mobile, usually you will need to adjust the text as well, because obviously the text size is too big. So all you need to do is just change this to another value, let's say 32, this to 14, set it to fill container, maybe you can bring this up a bit, 44 let's say, and that's it. And again, if you need to change, let's say for example, the distance between these elements, just click on the elements, adjust the margins and the paddings, like 32 for example on mobile if you want to have more uh, margins, and that's it. It's like, this is how easy it is to convert all of your designs from desktop to tablet and mobile if you design them properly using auto layout. And that's it. This is how you should start thinking and designing in Figma so you can make your life a lot easier, so you can spend more time researching and doing all that good stuff and less time fiddling around with pixels and dragging elements on your frame. Thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure having you around. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'm gonna see you in the next video pretty soon. Till then, happy designing and cannot wait to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. And that's it. This is how you should start designing in Figma from now on. Auto layout, auto, auto, auto layout on UXLab.academy. I'm gonna live, I'm gonna live forever. <laughs>